All right, so now we've got our program all planned out. So let's actually work on implementing it. Um, so the first thing we need to do is tell Robot C what all the motors and stuff are. So go to the motors and sensor setup, and we can type in all the information we need. If you so, hopefully you guys know how to do this. If not, there shouldn't be another video or ask someone about it. Um, however, we can also go since we're using the standard clawbot, we can go of execute clawbot and load everything in. Um, there is one change um, for the color sensor. You'll notice that there is three options. We want to pick the grayscale option. Um, this will be the best one because white and black on grayscale are very far apart. Um, so that will help us detect the difference a whole lot easier. Alright, so now we've got the motors and sensors all set up up there. Let's start working on the code. Um, so what's the first thing it needs to do? Move forward. Um, so hopefully you guys are familiar with all this. Um, set motor speed, then we give the motor name. Um, for the default, it's left motor. Um, we'll start out slow, just have it go at like 50 power because we don't want it to go too fast. We want to actually be able to see like everything that's happening in case it goes wrong. Um, so right motor 50. So now we need to wait until we see the black line. So how are we going to do that? So let's think through this. We're going to keep moving forward while we do not see the black line. So what we'll use is a while loop. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with them, how they work, we'll give like a little math equation like you know 5 is less than 4. And as long as that up there is true, it'll repeat whatever we put in right here. Now most of you probably realize 5 is not less than 4, but if we had like 1 is less than 4, it would work. What we'll do is compare the color sensor value to another value. Um, so to read the color sensor, we use a command called get color grayscale. Um, and then we have to tell the color sensor name, so do color detector, because that's what I called mine. Um, so this right here will read the color sensor and it'll put this value in there. So it works like a variable or, you know, imagine a math equation with an x in it. Um, but now we need to compare it to something. So we want to move forward, um, let's put a comment to remind ourselves, while we do not see black. Because once we get past this part, is when we want to be seeing the black line. So as long as we are not seeing the black line right here, we'll keep repeating. Once we do, it'll move up to here. Um, so we need to know what to compare it to. So we don't know what this value is yet. Um, for those of you working with a physical robot, this will be super simple. Um, what we'll do is you'll download to robot, um, save it if you need to, all that, um, and it should give you, um, keep it plugged in during this, and then if you go up to robot, debugger windows, sensors, make sure that one's checked, if not, check it, and then find it down here. You should be able to find your color sensor and see what it's reading. Um, so right here, right now it's reading 343. Um, so then you can take it and set it above the white and read what it is. So it might be something like 100. Then you can set it on the top of the black and it might be something like 300. Um, and then you'll kind of average those out. So that will give us the middle ground. So we know if it's closer to the white, then it's white. If it's greater than that, it'll be the black. Um, for those of us in the virtual world, though, we unfortunately can't just pick up a robot and move it around. So what we're actually going to do is just have it drive forward for a while. Um, so we'll just change up our program here, just comment this out, and we'll just put in this delay. Um, and so this is how we're going to do it. We're gonna do delay, put in like a 10 second delay here, download the robot. So what we'll do is just have it go forward. We'll use the same debugger window here, and we'll just have it go forward and just watch. So right now it's 359. Right, there we go, now it's 
Alright, so on white it's about 359 and on black it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but it looks like it drops down to about 200 or so, we'll say. Um, so what we need to do is average those numbers out, just like what we would if we were using a real robot. All right, there we go. Yep, gets down to about 200. Um, so we use 200 and 360. So if we average those out, we come up with 280, I believe. Um, and black is was the smaller of the two values, because right now um, the color sensor is like right there on top of the black line, and we're reading 200. Move forward a bit under the white, and now we're reading the 359. So, while we do not see black, so 280 is our threshold value. And so, do we want a less than or a greater than here? So if it's black, it'll be less than that. But because we're going to move forward while it's white, we want a greater than. So this will be move forward while we do not see black, or while we see white. So now we've got it, it moves forward until it's on top of the black line. But now we want to move forward until we, so if we try this out, so let's download this to our robot. Um, and then we can choose, so in the robots, we want to choose the line tracking robot. Um, and then we'll go utility, light sensor table, then we want to choose point F. That will put us right over there, right in line for all these lines. So for the virtual world, this is the best one to use. Um, at home, just sit it down on a table or whatever and run it. So as we see right now, it starts out on the white, we run, goes up to the black, and stops. So we've got the first part of the code working. But now we need to, we're on top of the black, so now we need to move forward until we see the white line. Well, the code for that is actually basically the same. So we can just copy that first one and change it up. So we want to move forward while we see black, or while we do not see white. So this, we just reverse the thing around. So while we're on top of black, black's about 200. So that will be true while we're on top of the black. And so now we have crossed the line. So if we try it, we should see it stop just on the far side of the line um, instead of right at the beginning of the line. We watch, run, crosses on over just a bit. So now we've got it, it moves forward to the first line. But now we need to do it multiple times, right? So we can just, we can do a copy and you know, do, so we want to move forward to the third line. Put it in three times, run it, so it started over and watch. One, two, three. And there we go, it moved forward three lines.